I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary, and joining me is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is live action from Ligue 2. It's Amiens, and they take on Grenoble. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Should be a good game, this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot, fast play, force the opposition to respond. Hopefully we get that from the start of this match. Can they create something from here? And he's in. Just cleared away in the nick of time. So the corner played into the box. Monawage. Can he convert? Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Looks promising this. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Jérôme Montbris. And I believe there's been a goal in the Clermont foot match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Clermont. 13 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Difficult to stop him. Well, the threat was very weak. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Well, I know the home side are very proud of this particular statistic. They can boast the best defensive record in the league, Lee. Oh, big opportunity. And it's come off the keeper. Oh, the ball lost here. And he did what he had to do defensively. Jesse Benet. Oh, a lovely ball. And an astute piece of defending. Throw ins given. On a penalty in one of the other matches, but for which team? Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Gingo. He's put the ball down on the spot. Up he steps. Oh, a lovely strike. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Well, a nearly moment, you've got to say. News of a goal in the Clermont foot match. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Clermont. 31 minutes played. 2 0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Can he finish? The angle didn't really favour him. Not too far away. Well, I guess it's worth a chance. He's in a tight angle there, but could he pull it back to a teammate? Gnahore. Lusamba. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? Of no Lusamba. Really good block. Well, it's deadlock. Could be a mistake. Could be a moment of magic. Surely someone will take this game by the scruff of the neck. He's in position. Not an especially strong challenge. Takes aim. And there it is. The breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded, and then a 2v1. Both of them teasing the goalkeeper. That really is a lovely worked goal. The opening goal of the game, then. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And there it is, the half-time whistle. No doubt about it, the home... For
plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Nestor. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a second goal for Khan. 49 minutes play. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Over it comes. It didn't happen for them. Teammates in the middle. Oh, keeper dealt with it. And it's gone behind for the corner. And now the delivery. And played short. Well, he's lost it. But apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off. Just to confirm, Caunt did score in that game. And they hold the Aces presently, leading 2-1. Running with the ball confidently. Crossing opportunity. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Dangerous ball. It comes to absolutely nothing. Alexi Blain. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Real chance. Wonderful block. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Failed to keep hold of it. This looks promising. Well, not cleared away completely. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Substitution time it is. Perez, Charles Pickel. Well, they've given him too much space. Just getting news of a goal in the Toulouse match. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Toulouse. 71 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Charles Pickel. Firing it towards goal. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Fifteen minutes remaining. It is to be a throw-in. Here it is now, a substitution. David Enen. Plenty of options. It's a perfect challenge. And he read it well. Well, the crowd have reacted to this effort the players are putting in. They just need to keep their concentration and the game should be theirs. And space to attack. Well, potential danger. Dangerous looking attack. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Jesse Benet. David Enen. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Gives it a go. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, he's gone for pure power. And why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Changement pour Grenoble. Well, if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Well, he's hit it with far too much height. Well, he's quite a long way out, and if you put power on the ball and just lean back slightly, it's going to rise, and that time, over the bar.
And that is that. Full time here and a draw. The two teams couldn't be separated. Lee, what did you make of the visitors' performance? Well, it was a tight game, that's for sure. They won't be too disappointed with a point. Both teams cancelling each other out. They did keep playing right to the end, though, which is a good sign.